Hello and welcome to Stab the Apple. Today we're going to be taking a look at MechWarrior Online and some basic entry level builds for newer players. Today we're going to be focusing on the Commando Light Assault Mech. Now unlike the other Light Assault Mechs, the Commando is more of a brawler type mech, which means you get real close to your enemies, you strafe, you blast them with whatever weapons you have, and you support your allies who are fighting that mech. One on one, they can usually hold their own against most other mechs to an extent, uh, but they definitely shine in more of a support group ratio. So what you want to do is if you're running trial mechs or whatever, you're going to want to save up enough C-Bills to buy yourself a Commando Com 2D. This is going to cost you about 1.8 million C-Bills or I believe the equivalent is 715 MC. So if you've got a little extra cash, you can buy it right away. It's not a big deal. This is an entry level build that you can build upon on your own time. So once you've got your stock COM 2D, the reason you want it is it's got three missile slots and a Guardian ECM. Okay? Now, if we take a look at our loadout, we're running three Streak SRM2s. Now, these are short range missiles that need to lock onto the target. They do a large amount of damage. The downside is that if your opponent has an ECM, they can stop you from locking onto targets, making all three of these effectively useless. That is why we have our own ECM. Now, the Guardian ECM, when you first start a match, you should be hovering around some other players on your team, preferably people in your clan or you know people you're familiar with or just whoever looks like they're gonna do the most damage. You hover around them with your Guardian ECM, maybe go out a little bit ahead of them, uh, but not too far. The Guardian ECM will stop enemies from locking on to your teammates with their long-range missiles, thus preventing them from taking damage in the very early game, and on some of the larger maps, that can be a huge benefit. But it also serves a dual purpose. The other purpose is to make sure that we can always fire these Streak SRM2s. Now, when you're in-game, if you push the J button, it'll change the mode of the ECM. The ECM, while pushing the default button J, will either jam your opponents or prevent them from jamming you. If you're preventing them from jamming you, then you will be able to fire your Streak SRM2s with immunity. You'll be able to keep locking on targets and keep firing them. There will be some minor exceptions like multiple ECMs, stuff like that but for the most part you will be able to shoot so if you're new you're definitely going to want to get this ECM and learn how to use it it's going to cost you about 400,000 C bills once you've got it down how to use this properly and I'm sure you're thinking oh well you know once they ECM me I just ECM back and I'm fine right wrong because if you turn off your ECM and it causes a bunch of long range missiles to come in and blast your atlas or you, one of your cats or something else that's going to be more damaging to your team than you getting off a few extra streak srm2 shots so try to be a little bit mindful of that when you're switching the systems and once you get the hang of it it'll be like second nature but it's a good learning tool and it'll definitely help you out now your left arm has one energy weapon slot this can be pretty much whatever you can afford. Uh, I recommend throwing in a medium laser until you get good with lasers. When you start out a match, try to bind all of your missiles to one mouse click button and your laser to another mouse click button. The reason for that is with lock-on missiles, you're probably not going to be directly looking at your target the entire time. So you're not going to get the max effect out of your lasers and your lasers aren't really going to contribute all that much damage anyways. So by firing all four weapons at the same time, all you're really doing is increasing your heat, which you don't want to do, because if you get overloaded and you have to stop and you overheat, you're pretty much dead. If anyone decides to blast you, they can blast you in about three seconds flat, if it even takes that long. So just throw in a Santa Meteor laser. If you want, feel free to you know toy around with a flamer, maybe a small laser or a pulse laser. I would just recommend whatever you're comfortable with. I've actually seen a PPC on commandos. It's 
kind of silly because you overheat like crazy. So I, I do not recommend this at all. But the option is there if you wanted to take it. Now, where to put your ammo for your Streak SRM2s? I put my Streak ammo in my right shoulder. If you are a new player, you should not do this. Mainly because you should not have an XL engine to begin with. XL engines are very expensive. They're a little bit more for advanced players. Specifically because, if you notice, they are in your chest as well as your shoulders. So if you lose your shoulders or your chest, you die. It's game over. You're done for the rest of the match. That's why I put my ammo in my right shoulder. Normally, if you're running a standard engine, you're going to want to put your ammo in your legs. The main reason for that is, if your leg gets blown off, you are probably not going to survive for more than a couple of seconds anyways, because you lose your mobility. Once you lose your mobility as a light mech, you're pretty much dead. So the XL engine gives me a little bit more base speed, gives 116.6, which makes it a little bit harder to aim if you're not used to it. So work your way up to it. It's also very expensive. For one XL engine, let's take a look at this one right here. The XL 180, this is what I got in here now. 2.9 million C-bills. So for the price of this one engine, I can get two more of this mechs pretty much. So don't get that until much later in the game. Get used to the mech, get used to the feel, to your weapon loadouts, how it actually plays before you start upgrading things like XL engines and double heat sinks. All that kind of stuff is things you can toy around with for your personal preference. The main core abilities of this build are your three streak SRMs and your ECM. So I hope this has been informative. We plan to release a couple more for other variants. We have quite a few people who are master level with larger mechs, specifically the Caseta, and I believe we have a person who's a master with cats as well. So we'll release a couple more of these videos to help people start out. Uh, for this one in particular, it'll set you back about 2.5 million C bills to really get you going. That's counting your Streak SRMs and your ECM Guardian. And then, as I said, everything else on there you can toy with. Toy with the different types of structure, armor, heat sinks, whatever you're comfortable with and what works for your play style. So, hope you enjoyed. If you like, hit like, uh, subscribe if you want to see what we're coming out with in the future. And thank you very much for watching.